happening. So yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I'm so sore. I'm going to have to get up at 6 o'clock in here tomorrow. Yeah, I just want to go to bed. I'm so tired right now. Yeah. Guys, yeah. hey, can you... Yeah, sure. Go, Rose. Thanks. Not hard. Don't we always have it? Yeah, that's true. Should let's have it off tomorrow? No. Big Ben Wallace. I think you're going in the wrong direction, bruh. Listen, dog. I'm beat. Some other time. Oh, 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 dog, huh? Let me tell you something. ESPN NBA basketball. I've lived the 24-7 mode. And I've achieved the ISO motion. I can clear the court to one side and take you one on one. Don't nobody is better than Reg. Ha <laughs> ha. The way I dunk on you is going to look unorthodox. Rated E for everyone. Home is where the hoop is. With ESPN Full Court, you'll get more than 450 additional games of college basketball. To order, call your local cable company, DirecTV at 1-800-DIRECTV, or DISH Network at 1-800-333-DISH. The true classics never go out of style, just like the all-American food at A&W. Only A&W has that authentic, one-of-a-kind, real draft root beer, plus a full selection of favorite hits from way back when. So come back to the taste you've always loved. Come back to A&W. A&W. Hey, There are two ways to find great seafood. You can cross the globe, setting sail to deep waters and sleepy little ports where only the finest catch call home. Or you can go to Long John Silver's, where we bring that great seafood right to you like no other place can. Delicious, tender, and crispy, hand-dipped in our famous one-of-a-kind batter. From fish to shrimp, it's always the seafood you love at a price you'll love even more. So when you want delicious seafood, come to the seafood experts. At Long John Silver's, the only missing ingredient is you. Long John Silver's. Seafood the way it ought to be. Offensive improvement has been a passion of mine now for 30 years. I enjoy working with players individually on their games, on their shooting, on their ball handling, on their low post moves, their footwork, their technique of shooting, and there's no better foursome to introduce you to than the four young men going to help me with this tape. We're going to work on a variety of things that are going to help you get better and reach your potential. First young man I s recruited at 168 pounds, and he's gone from 168 to 244 and he's probably the hardest working young man I've coached and one of the nicest young men I've coached. And that's Walter McCarty with the Boston Celtics. Eric Brown was a senior with us this year. He played multiple positions. He worked very, very hard each day on his footwork and his individual instruction and became an outstanding senior for us. Eric Brown. Mohamed Lesserjee never played for me, but he's an outstanding young man. He worked with us very hard on his offensive moves and I thought he'd be an outstanding candidate to go through it today. We had great success this year and the year prior to that, and the driving force behind it all was our two guard the first year, now a point guard. Here's a young man that was an outstanding two guard, changed his whole game into the point guard position. First round draft choice of the Orlando Magic, Reese Gaines. All four of these guys have one thing in common. They had to work to get where they are today. We're going to take you through a variety of things that we do to make our players better, and hopefully you'll be able to watch this and make your games better.
when you come through those doors and you step over that line, do not enter anywhere near this three-point line. Now, I love this line. It's helped our teams win so many games, and in our style of play, that line is crucial. But when you first step onto the court, you need to warm up properly. I read a book many, many years ago on Bill Bradley. And Bill Bradley's whole routine started out here when learning how to shoot the basketball. So when you warm up, do not go anywhere near range shots. Start in close. You need to build your confidence because shooting is just as much psychological as it is physical. And you need to have that great self-esteem going into your shooting game. So the first thing we do is we start with a set shot. And we keep our eyes on our technique. Then just give me a hand here. One thing I believe in with shooting, now with certain degrees of hand size, it changes. But I like to form a T with the thumbs. We want our hand to be behind the basketball with these two fingers in the center. We want to make sure that our right foot is in line with the elbow and the ball. Now, the four guys who are going to help me with shooting, they don't have perfect form. They have a tremendous work ethic and years of repetition, and they have outstanding touch and feel in shooting it. But we're going to start out, and we'll start out the block, and we, we do this when we start our shooting. All we're going to do is go to the first marker, the second, and we start out with bank shots, looking to, and we make them before we move on. We start with our touch, our foot, our elbow, and then we try with all of these shots not to hit the rim. Now that went in, but we don't want to hit the rim because two basketballs can fit inside the rim. We stay focused and we shoot. We stay focused and we shoot. And we're working on our form. Now we go to the next spot and we're working on our technique. And we go to our free throw and we line up and basically everything stays the same. We try not to hit the rim. Next spot. Now, I'm too old and you don't need to watch me shoot, so we're going to bring Reese out, but that's the way we start out. We start with set shots, and we just build up our self-esteem, believing when the shot's going to go down. So Reese, we're going to shoot it quickly, go right to the block, and shoot it. Next spot. Next spot. Now, Reese and Walt, in particular, are field shooters. They have good arc on their shot. Foul shot. We don't move on until we make it. Trying not to hit the rim forces you to concentrate, making sure you have the proper arc on the shot. Okay, great. Now, I believe that as you get good at this, you can almost tell the ball what to do. For instance, I want the ball to sit on the front of the rim and go in. It's got to be able to sit there on the rim. There it is when you shoot. And your focus starts that way. Now we go to the jump shot. We're warmed up. Now I want you to take the same thing, I want you to come out about two, three feet, shoot a little quicker, but I want you to get up now and shoot a jump shot. Get up your feet. Good. Same technique. Good. Step away, step away. Good, off the lane. Good. Now, Reese is on, and his confidence is going right now. So he stepped on the court, and he feels like he has it going. It's his night, because he started in tight. And he worked on his form, he worked on his technique, and now he has the confidence to go out further. So he's warmed up, he's already stretched, he's loose, but mentally, he's ready to have a great shooting night. I remember so many times as the head coach of the New York Knicks, arriving at 5 o'clock, 
and they were setting up the parquet floor in Boston, and it was half done, and there was Larry Bird at 5 o'clock, shooting about five to 700 shots way before they even warmed up and anyone has arrived. So repetition is the key to becoming a great shooter. But starting in tight and working your way out to develop that shooting confidence, that's so essential. Mid-range game. People talk about it all the time. The ability to shoot mid-range jump shots. Now you have to understand how to use a screen. And we have 12 different shots that we use in our offenses coming off screens. The wide down screen with anyone's offense is so important. Now we like the wide down screen after we've recreated movement in our offense. And we start out, we use a pad as a screen and this one here, we don't set up the person because the defensive player, uh, Reese, come on over here for a second. If Reese was, the ball was opposite and Reese was playing this man, he right now is going to locate, and here's the key. Don't ever come off a screen blind to the defensive player. You always locate the defensive player, and with one eye, you know where he's at at all times. So you read what to do offensively. In the wide down screen, the man may try to go up and through. He may try to body you and fight over the screen. For now, we're going to say he's bodying us. Now, when we catch a basketball, we don't ever stop and wait for the ball to come to us. We run the ball into our hands. When we come off the screen, after hitting the man, making our contact, we come off shoulder to shoulder with the person screening us. Even if we were fading, we'd clear the screen and push back if we were fading. But we make sure we don't leave any space. Our hands are ready. Once we clear the screen, our hands are ready and we're loaded to shoot. The passer has to make sure that he centers me into the shot. So right now, if a man was following me, Kevin would hit me here and turn me into the shot. Now, once again, the foot, the elbow, the ball should be in line. Some people toe in. They turn in with their shot. Then they have to correct themselves. I don't love that, but with repetition, you can get by. So the first thing we're going to do is the wide down screen into our shot, follow it, get it back out. Good. Follow it, get it back out. Follow it, good, get it back out. Good, one more time. On every shot, try not to hit the rim. Try not to hit the rim. Good, hold it up. Now, you're going to hear that expression a lot. Try not to hit the rim. Now, you shoot the ball and you hit the rim. And it goes in. That's okay. You're trying to make sure that you have the proper arc so you don't hit that rim. See, if you can focus in on that, on your arc, you may not hit the rim. And that's what you want. If you shoot it and it goes in and you're shooting at the rim, that's no good. You want to go up and in. Okay, now the defensive player now comes underneath slides on this, you're going to clear the screen when you fade. Everything you do is you clear the screen, and now as you clear, you push back, and now you step and shoot the three, and do not shoot on the line. Now we need to talk about that. A shot on this line is basketball suicide. You can't do it. Over the period of a game or multiple games, it's going to kill you statistically. Get behind the line and then step into it. Okay, here we go. Follow it. Step in. Okay, good. Now, the step in, the one, two step in, with our hands loaded ready, we like that step in. It drives that right foot, the elbow, and the ball toward the shot. We like that step in. Okay, now we're going to bring our man in. We're going to bring him in now. And this is where it gets physical in using the screen. Now, as Eric is playing Reese, one of the best in the NBA is Reggie Miller. He uses screens better than any basketball player in the game. He probably only weighs 180, 85 pounds. But he does a couple of things. First and foremost, he never comes off the screen early. He always comes off late. Second thing he does, he physically makes contact with the man. He'll always lean in him, 
He'll stick his butt into him, but he won't just come off the screen. He's going to physically be late, make contact with the man, and then come off the screen. So if Reese was going to come off this down screen, he would be late, bring Eric in the lane, hit him, and then turn and read him and make sure you know what he's doing. Okay, so let's go to the down screen. Come in a little. Good. The mid-range jump shot. The mid-range jump shot. Now to fade, Eric. Clear the screen and push back. That's it. Clear the screen and push back. Get your feet moving. Your footwork is essential. Get your feet moving, then one, two step. Push, 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 step. Good. Try not to hit the rim. Focus, try not to hit the rim. Good. Try not to hit it. Work on that arc. Good. Okay, next one. Now a little bit different because we want to get the feel of the footwork. Now two screens are going to be set. And Reggie's going to set one here. Vince will set it up top. Okay, now you're going to come up. You'll start, you can start right there. You're going to come off two screens. And again, we're working on our footwork. As you come off, you're turning, you're turning, you're turning. And now you're working on your footwork to get that one, two step in. Okay, here we go. Good. Follow it. Don't go backwards. Follow it. Step. Good. You don't have to turn. You can just go right into it. Good. Go right into it. Okay, now, now as you come off, you're going to rip it through. As you catch it, you're going to rip it through to the baseline. Make sure when you rip it through that you stay above the block when you come for your jump shot. Okay, here we go. Rip it through. Good. Low to the ground. Let's negate the travel. Low. Good. <coughs> negate it. Good. Don't hit that rim wall. Good. Here we go. One more time. Okay, now the NBA is about 30, 35% pick and roll. College, it's about 15 to 20. Now we're going to go with the pick and roll, and you're going to come off shoulder to shoulder. So after he goes by you, go back and set a screen on him. You can use a pad. Ready? Go. Go hard, get in the lane. Good. Get in that lane. Now you have to understand, the way everybody's playing it today defensively is they're faking the trap. They're hedging all the way out. So now Vince is going to hedge all the way out on you defensively. Matt, you can take it. Hedge all the way out on him. Now you're going to have to split it, Eric. He's going to hedge all the way out. Split it. Split it right down the middle. You've got to be able to come off it, split it. And we have our big guys do it as well as our guards. Split it. Good. Right down the middle. Step all the way out. Exaggerate it. It should be a left to right crossover. Jump all the way out. Left to right crossover. Jump all the way out. Good. Okay, now bring it up top. And now fade. Now we're going to work on walking our man in and fading off of it for three. Then we're going to shoot a two and then we're going to rescreen it. Fade, hit him, step, slide. Follow it, follow it. Want the momentum going forward.
Okay, now continue on. And when you catch it, he came underneath. I want you to give me a quick rip as you catch it. Get to the rim for your mid-range jump shot. Quick rip. Okay, now let's talk about the rim. In here's, when we catch the basketball, we catch it low. And you hear the expression rip. We rip the ball by our knees. We pound it with our left hand and we stay above the block. So we have the angle to the board if we choose to bank it. So we rip it by our knees. The lower we get, the less likely we will travel. Okay. Rip it, rip it. Stay down low, Mo. Rip it. Rip it. Good. Okay, now, now you come off, and for the great scorers, we want those defensive players who are outstanding to get hit twice. So with Reese, we'd have him run a guy in off the screen one time, take him all the way down, and then we'd chase him again and hit him again. We want those good defensive players to get hit twice. So bring him in off the screen, go all the way down, Reese past the first marker, keep going, go get him again, come off, Shot. Come off, shot. Rip, shot. Come off. Okay, now fade off the second one. Now fade. Come off, fade. Put your footwork down. Catch it, Mo. Fade, push, step. Good. Very good, Mo. Follow it. Follow it. Push back, step. You'll notice Walt is shooting from the NBA range. He doesn't understand why they don't change that three point line because it's ridiculous the length of it. Okay, Walt, now a rescreen, a fade, Walt, with a rip. Now a rip, a rip. That's it, good. Accelerate low, good. Rip low, good. Rip low, good. Excellent. Good. Screen shooting. Let's go over a few things again. Let's be late, never early using the screen. Let's locate the defensive player at all times and try to make physical contact with the man as we're late coming off that screen. We get ready when we clear the screens with our hands being ready, being loaded to shoot the basketball. We read the defensive player and we either curl running the ball into our hands or we fade push back and then step into it. Screen shooting in the mid-range game is so essential. Now a lot of players today, they want to take it to the hole and dunk it or shoot the three. The mid-range game is sort of a lost art. We work on that every single day, right after our warm-up. Your workout doesn't have to go for three hours a day. I, I hear athletes all the time saying, I played for four hours a day. And then while I watch their workout for four hours, really only 15 minutes is beneficial to their game, to improvement. So a 45 minute to hour workout each day on, on all your basketball skills is enough then your weight training and your cardiovascular training and your flexibility all have to be added to that. But sometimes you can do too much the incorrect way and you're getting little out of it. So making sure that you're doing it the right way in a condensed period of time. You give me one hour a day and you'll reach your potential. This arc on the floor right now, in professional basketball, that tells you that if you draw a charge, on the inside of that arc, it doesn't count for the defense. You must draw it outside. Now, why would we at the University of Louisville have an arc here? It's for different reasons. We want our offensive players, when they drive to the goal, to get inside this arc for a reason. We call this area jail. When our small guys or our 6'5 people drive to the lane, we want them getting inside the arc 
to take the shot blockers out of play and to draw the foul. Now, Walt's a great jumper, and he's six, nine and a half. He's got great timing, great spring, and Walt is the weak side defensive player. He was guarding Mo, seeing Mo, Walt, see Mo, see me as well going to the basket. Now, I'm in the lane. I'm not God's answer to leaping ability. On top of that, I'm not even going to jump because Walt's getting old. So I'm going to stay on my feet. Now, I want Walt, I want you to block my shot and don't be afraid to embarrass me. Okay, ready? Block it. I'll give you a little more time. Block it. Block it. Block it. Block it. Block it. Okay, Mo, come on, show him how to do it. Ready? Block it, Mo. You could try to block it. Now, the obvious thing is Mo can't block it because the net and the rim put him in jail. So that's the key. Now watch what happens when I come outside the arc. Now watch. I eat it every time. But because I use the net and the rim to get my shot off, one of the best in the game was Tiny Archibald. He would come in, locate the defender, make the contact, put him in jail, and then get his shot off. So we want our guys, when we drive, to get in the arc. So everything we do, you're going to hear this expression, body to body. Our players hear it a thousand times a week. We do not want to play laterally. If Vince was taking the ball out of bounds and Walt was checking me and I needed to get, Mo, just step to the side, please. And I needed to get the ball in bounds. I can't go laterally. Walt will slide. I can't go laterally. So if I want to get the ball in bounds, I'm going to walk, walk Walt down, walk him down, walk down, and get open. I'm going to go body to body. So whether it's a dribble, whether it's a jab step, a ball fake, my next move is always body to body. And I want to get in this arc. So the next drill that we do, it's a game. We're going to show you first how to do the drill, and then we're going to put it in into a game so you can play it in your backyard. It's threes, twos, and ones. There are four quarters to an, eight, to an NBA game. But essentially, all the techniques to it and the fundamentals must be done the correct way. The first one starts out with a three-point shot. You must step in and know the line. Know the line. You step in too close and you step on this line and shoot that shot, we're in trouble. So you got to get ready to step in with the one-two step behind the line and then focus and make the shot. The next one will be a ball fake, a body-to-body -body ball fake. Now you'd see it with, with the, you'll see it with Larry Bird when he was getting ready to shoot a shot, he'd go and lift the player up. You believed he was going to shoot it and then he would ball fake and go by the man. When the ball comes up, you stay down. Show me the ball, move your head, and lift the player up. But the ball comes up, and you stay down, ready to attack. Don't come up with the ball that slows you down, and you want to be ball quick. Ball comes up, you stay down. That's when a player is running at you, from inside to out. The jab series, starts when the man's on you and you're crowded. You start your jab series. You push the guy back. If he doesn't go back, you explode body to body by the man. The perfect scenario if Walt was guarding me and he ran at me and I ball faked would be to almost land at Walt's back when I shoot. We do not want a ball fake and so many players go laterally. Do not do that. Get in the lane, so if Vince was playing Mo, spot it up, my wall, I ball fake, and now I make the play for this shot because I draw the defensive player. If I go laterally, I can't draw the help defensive player. 
So we're working on the technique of going body to body in all these drills. Three points for a three, two points for a ball fake, one for a drive. Now we let the guys dunk the ball as long as they can get in the arc. If they can't, we want them stopping on two feet and exploding so they don't charge. They only have one dribble on the jab step. Okay, to start it out, let's do it one behind the other so we teach the technique of it and then we'll put it in game situation. Okay, so the first one, Walt, when you shoot it, follow it and go to the other corner. Okay, ready? Shot. Step in. One, two, step. Good. Okay, now, now the ball fake, and you, you're saying right now, you know, why are, are these guys shooting threes? Now, we won probably, we were down 31 points to LSU on the road, and Walt kept making this shot right here, got us back in the game, and we won it in regulation, believe it or not, but this shot is, he's 6'9", six, 6'10", six, we want him taking this shot. And it's important that big guys learn to shoot on the perimeter as well as develop their low post game. The next one, footwork-wise, show, you, show your head, show the ball, and lift them up. Lift them up. Lift them up. Good, Mo. Sit down now. Sit down. Good. Reese, show that ball, Reese. Show it. Lift them. Good. And step. Body to body. Ready? Lift them. Lift them. Good. You can step either way. You can cross over. Good. Now you can go either way. It doesn't matter. You can ball fake and step, eyes on the rim. You can ball fake and cross over, eyes on the rim. It doesn't matter. You'll do it both ways. The next one, the guy's going to catch up to you and he's going to jam you. Jab and explode. Jab, jab, explode. That's it. One dribble. Jab, jab, get there, Mo. Don't throw it out in front, Mo. You dribble it. Get there. Jab, 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 get there. Okay, now you can't get all the way to the rim. Jab and give me a, a mid-range shot. Jab, jab, get there. Not ball fake, jab. He's crowding you. Jab, jab, get there. Jab, jab, jab. Be ball tough. Be ball tough. Good. Good. Now, when that guy's up on you, you got to be ball tough. You gotta show it and be aggressive with the ball. You gotta be on this ball tight, and you gotta be ready to go and explode with it. Okay, then we change spots. Now we have nine spots, but we're gonna take you through seven. I'm gonna show you the nine, but I'll show you why. Right now, first marker extended. Then we go foul line extended, elbow extended, and the top. Those are our nine. For now, we're gonna go seven. And if you watch this, we'll have Walt play against Reese at the seven spots. There are obviously a potential six points at each spot. 42 points for the perfect quarter without missing. Now, if you're an NBA basketball player, you should be in the 30s each quarter. High school, anywhere in the low 20s. Junior high, obviously in the teens. But you should be getting in the 30s if you're an NBA basketball player. Okay, so Walt and Reese, and here's how we play. Reese, you're going to pass it to Walt. It's got to be a good pass. You're going to shoot a three. Then Walt's going to rebound the shot. Reese is going to shoot a three. We'll play a couple of spots so that people understand how the game's played. Ready? The three. Walt's got three. Reese's got three. Now the ball fake. Body to body. Lift him up, Walt. Sit down. Good. Five. Lift him up, Reese. The defensive player will run at him with his two hands. It's five to three. The jab. The 
Okay, good. 6-4, Walt's in the lead. All right, next spot. 6-4, we subtract for air balls. 7-6, ball fake, lift them up, good. 8-7, lift them up. Crowd, crowd, good. Keep that foot down, good. Keep that foot down, keep that foot down, get there. Okay, Reese, you got a one point lead? Okay, we go around, right now they got a pretty good score going. They're gonna get into the 30s easily. It moves quickly. The next two spots that we take you through, and Walter would be up here, we're gonna go game speed. This spot and the top, so you see it. Game speed, because you gotta learn to shoot under the influence of fatigue. Ready? Shut, shot. Just put your hands up. Just put your hands up as you go, don't block it. Put your hands up, bother them, good. Now put your hands up, go for the ball fake. Lift them, good. Game speed, that's good. Ready? Game speed, go. Good, now let him, let him jam you, Walt. Get up to him, Reese. Let him jam you, jab, 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 get there, good. One dribble, really explode. Get there, get there, get there, get there. To the top, Walt, to the top. Good, Reese, go at him. Shoot the three, step in, one, two. Good, one, two. Ready, step, shot. Good, you're always recognizing the defense. Now ball fake, show it to him, show it to him. Good, step. Stay down now, sit down. Sit down, sit, show it to him. Good. Jam him, jam him, jam him, jam him. Fake, 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 good. Fake, 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 good. Very good, good job, good job. That's excellent. They're going at game speed. They're doing things correctly and they're making their shots. Their technique is excellent. We step in to the line, foot, elbow, ball in line, we shoot it. Ball fake, we gotta sit down, but we gotta lift them up. Violently lift them up, but we stay down. Then we step by the man, body to body. 42 potential points per quarter. The quarter's over, we get all the way to the corner, the second quarter begins. Now the guys go back the other way. Same, same aspects, same game. At halftime, they wash out. They each come back, they shoot two free throws, they start the third quarter and the fourth quarter. Obviously, looking for that perfect quarter. Threes, twos, and ones. We do it every day. It's key to working on range, the ball fake, and the jab. It's all part of recognizing what move to go to by letting the defense tell you what to go to next. Discipline is an organized plan of attack. When you have the discipline, you are creating your plan to be successful. And whether it's what time you wake up, how you train, you're in the weight room, and maybe there's no one around, and you wanna quit, you wanna go on to something else, but it's not time to quit. You've gotta dig in there and, and get to the end of it, whether it's running, whether it's the, the, all the pre-activity that leads up to the games, you have to have the discipline and the organization to be successful. And that's where mental toughness comes in, the ability not to quit, to stick to it, you have a plan of attack, and you're not gonna surrender to mental or physical fatigue. Our next segment is to teach the body to body and be more specific. We developed this many years ago when I was the assistant coach with UB Brown and the New York Knicks and he introduced the box drills. It's a great way to learn body to body and putting players in jail and teaching you how to recognize what the defense gives you. We start out very basic. It's just a give and go pass and what we want the player to do is cut Put the inside shoulder in jail, and the outside hand comes out of jail to negate the shot blocker. Reese is going to dribble with his inside hand, clear the three-point line as quickly as he can. Eric will hit the block, go all the way up, be a receiver, then he'll pass it to Reese, who's going to put his defender in jail. Eric will do it on that side. Reese will then come to the other side. We're going to do four layups. We normally do six. We're gonna do four right now. You guys are a little old. You ready? Go. That's it. Left-handed. Put him in jail with your right shoulder. 
Good. Take it, Eric. Go, go, go. Good. Follow it, Reese. Go to the other block, Reese. Now to right hand. Good. Dribble it, Reese. Come on, Eric. Good. Good. Put him in jail. Get it, Eric. Good. Other side, Eric. Other side, Eric. Other side. Dribble it up. Up, up. Good. Good. Come. Right hand. Put your left shoulder in jail. Put your left shoulder in jail. Good. Excellent. Okay, two big guys out. All right, now we're just getting used to cutting and putting the players in jail. Next one, now we're recognizing that the man's running at us and he's not there. If he was there, we'd either jab or pass. But he's not there, he's running at us. So now, Walt dribbles it out, Mo hit the block. When you turn, Walt, Mo, start over there, please. When you turn after you dribble it out here, your right foot's gonna be your pivot foot for this drill. So you're gonna turn and you're gonna show the shot. If he's late, shoot it. If he's running at you, ball fake. And then step by him. Why the inside foot? Why not a, as many this, throughout the years, so much discussion on should we have a permanent pivot foot? Well, you can't all the times because when you come off the screen, it's gotta be your inside foot that's your permanent pivot foot. And it's just as easy to shoot this way. It's just as easy to ball fake and step that way. So we want to do it and watch him. If he's not there, shoot it. Recognize what the defense gives you. If he's running at you and two hands coming at him, ball fake, step by him. Then Mo, you go back to that block. Then we'll change the box. So you're shooting or ball faking. We're working on body to body and recognizing the defender. Okay, let's start it up. Turn, shot, good. Recognize you're open. Hit a wall, show it, show it, show it. Ball fake, good, excellent. That was excellent. Now, you have to make sure you don't travel. Turnovers kill all fast break teams. All teams that love to get out there and score and run their offense, making sure that they get the right amount of shots each game, you can't turn it over by coming up with the ball. Mo just did it perfect. You can't come up with the ball and then step, you'll pick it up. The ball comes up, you stay down, and now you explode. Okay, get the two guards out. Recognize the man running at you. Okay, Reese, you're gonna dribble it. Let him clear you first and then hit the block. Go, Reese. Hit it, now come, now come, get there, get there. Good, Eric, you're up. Left hand, left hand, come on, come on. Get there, Reese, get there, Reese. Fake, step, shot, stop, don't move. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Perfect. Now I've asked Eric to just mess it up one time, to show everybody at home how not to do it. I appreciate it. When you ball fake, and Reese is playing me, you get him up. You got to step and you got to get in that lane and draw that next defender or shoot it. So the widest I would be, would be here. He went laterally. We don't want to go laterally. Okay, let's do it again. That's good though. I appreciate it. Thank you. Here we go. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Turn, turn. Show it. Nope. Went too wide. That's great. Now watch the footwork. It's here. Show it. Either cross over or step body to body. Now, if you can, if you put a chair there and you can do it by yourself, if Reese was by himself, he could just put a chair there and just rub against the chair. For now, try and touch each other's shoulder to make sure you go body to body. Here we go. Turn, turn, lift, show it. That's good. You're up, Eric, other side. Change blocks, Eric, change blocks, good. Go, hit the block, Reese. Hit the block, get there, wait, wait. Show it, show it, touch him, good. That's good body to body, excellent. All right, now, next two big guys up. All right, now, now as soon as he dribbles, you don't wait for him to clear. You're gone, hit that block. Walt, when you turn, he's going to be there. You now gotta turn, be ball tough, and you gotta give me a violent rip through as you jab at him and you're going body to body, drawing that foul. Because he's not giving you a drop step. So you gotta hit him and draw the foul. 
Now you can either get to the rim or you can go body to body for a shot. Ready? Go. He's there. Pivot, pivot, get there, get there. Good. You're up, Mo. You're up, Mo. Go. Keep your backside to him. Now locate him. Now rip. Now play, play, play. Get there. You're up, Walt. You play defense. Go. Come on, Mo. Come on, Mo. Wait, wait. Now go. Good. Excellent. Locate. Once again, other block. Come on, Mo. Wait, wait, wait. Go. Now rip, turn, turn, rip, rip. Get there. That's good, Mo. Excellent. Take a wall. Mo, get to the other block. Here we go. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Get up, get up. Wait, wait. Now rip, rip, rip. Get there. Good job. Good. Now you're working, and you'll see every now and then they'll pick it up and move it a little bit. We're going to work through repetition on making sure we're low and we turn and we rip, or we can turn and we can pull back like Walt did. That's okay. Because when a man crowds you defensively, you're trying to draw the foul. Get in the lane, draw some other defensive player, and either score or dish. Next one, two guards out. Eric's going to dribble all the way out. His right hand, he's going to go two or three feet past the line. Keep the dribble, turn, attack, stop. Reese stays in the paint. He's going to come up in his defensive stance and close out on Eric. Eric's got to go body to body on the man because your goal is to get in that arc. He's going body to body, trying to knock Reese down. But at the last second, give him a hard fake and either going right or left by his shoulder, get in this arc. Now we play live defense now. We're trying to stop close out and defend that man. Then we switch it over. Okay, here we go. Right out, America. Right out, America. Good. Good. Explode. Yes. Good move. That's okay. You got the foul. Reese is up. Right hand. Keep it alive, Reese. Keep it alive. Now attack him. Right at him. Attack him. Attack him. Yes. Good job. Good. Now, that was excellent. Both guys got the foul. Don't stop. Finish the move. Go through the foul. Eyes focused and make it. Okay, change sides. When you get close to him, Eric, give me a hard change of direction, change of speed. Go at him, go at him, full speed, full speed, full speed. Good, change, get there. That's excellent, excellent. Put him right in jail. Good. Go. Right at him, Reese, right at him, Reese. Now go, go right at him, right at him, right. Give me a fake, yes, get there. Excellent. Now he gave me a fake and he changed on him. Reese is very good at coming and he sees he's there. He's not going to take a bad shot. He gave it to him, he reversed, and he got in the arc. That's excellent. I had a young man in 1987, got so good at these moves, going right at the guy body to body. He was limited in size, limited in quickness, but he gave, became the premier guard in the country. His name was Billy Donovan. Today, very successful coach at the University of Florida. He could go body to body at the man, at the last second, give the move, go off, draw the defender, hit somebody for a three, or put him in jail. The key is that you go all the way up to the man, change your speed, change your direction with a hard fake, and then get in jail. Or be a Jason Kidd. Make someone else better, draw the man, and create. That's the end of our box. We have the putting the defender in jail, we have the recognition, whether the shot's there or the ball fake. Keeping our back to the man and working on our rip-through move and locating the defensive player and making sure we don't travel and then going body to body with the dribble. It incorporates everything we need to do on a one-on-one -on -one move. Next thing we want to do in working body to body is we want to take two defensive players on. Reggie's the back line of the defense, and he's going to be right above the arc. The first thing is they're both going to play token defense, but we want them to come up and challenge our offensive players. The second guy in line, don't go until Reese shoots the ball. Reese is going to make a hard move at the man, go body to body, change. Then he's going to go at Reggie. And when he cracks the three-second uh, three area, Reggie's going to come up 
and he's got to make a move around them, either getting a layup or a jump shot. Then Reese is going to go to a different area of the court. Three of these guys are going to follow Reese's lead. They're going to go to five different spots and make the move. Vince, you'll follow Reese. Right at him. Change. Good. Right at him. Low to the ground. Low. Body to body. Good, Eric. Change on him, Walt. Good. Change on him. Good. Go by him. Go by him. Go by him. Go right at him. Right at him. Right at him. Good. Good. Last one. Okay. Let me just cover two things. Small to tall. We come at the man small. We go by him tall to explode. Let's remember that because sometimes we get upright, we dribble too high. Small to tall. The two-man drill, sometimes we'll, hit, we'll take the pad out and we'll just hit the guy so he follows through and gets the foul and makes the bucket. We want the bucket. Other times we'll play token defense and we've, we change our moves each and every time. Five different spots. When we go into the low post, we still go and incorporate a body-to-body -body move. Now our guards post up as much as our big people. Our best post-up player in college was Tony Delk. The year we won the championship, Tony would post up at six foot one, six foot two, as well as any of our big men. We had some outstanding ones. In the pros, you'll see it all the time. Whether it's Michael Jordan, or whether it's Charles Barkley in his prime. Barkley was an awesome low post player. He could ball fake and move his body around this arc as well as anyone. So whether you're six foot, six five, seven foot, it stays the same with the move. Now our guys are all different sizes, but we'll explain that. We're gonna start out very basic and show you a series of things that we do each day in the low post. First, and Walt, you'll start it off. Let's get one line behind Walt. And the first thing we want to do, Kev, be the passer. First thing we wanna make sure is we won't pass the ball until we really shape up. And by that I mean we wanna post up strong and wide. We don't pass it to him until we really are strong and wide. Now, if we were, if Walt had the ball, Kevin wasn't in the gym, all he'd do is Walt start at that block. Give Walt the ball, please. Walt, just spin it, come to a jump stop, and locate. And that's all Walt would do if coach wasn't in the gym or a teammate wasn't in the gym. He'd just spin it out and go to his move. Okay, first one. We're going to locate, and all we're going to do now is we're going to drop step to the middle at the arc, and we're going to shoot a jump hook in the lane. So Walt, you're going to come, shape up. Vince, you can go behind him. Shape up, jump hook. Good. Hit that pad, shape up. Locate him, go, jump hook. Ready? Get there. OK, now watch. The one thing we don't want to do, when we come with our jump hook, we don't want to open up our shoulders. You'll get your shot blocked. We want to point the shoulder and come with the jump hook, making sure he's got to come over my body. So don't open up. OK, Reese, here we go. Shape up. Reese is not a big jump hook guy. Get there, jump hook. All right. All right, Walt, now you're going to turn middle the same way. This time, all you're going to do is you're going to locate him, hit him, and you're going to get it elevated as high as you can after you hit him and shoot the ball to the middle. Good. You can shot. Good. 
Now, the first thing you have to do when you make your move on your dribble, you got to hit this pad so you get the defense off balance so you can shoot. Just don't go to the spot. Locate, hit it, good, now elevate, that's good. Locate him first, Mo. Locate him, hit him, hit him, shot. You gotta be able to make it, take the contact. Wide, wide base, take it, shot. Good. Good, okay, now. Now, Walt, as you go to fake and shoot your jump shot, He's going to beat you to the spot. You're going to give him the same body-to-body -body move. You're going to give him a violent fake, and you're going to go up, under your chin, and get to the rim, up and under. Drive him in the lane, one dribble, up and under. Rip it through. Up, up, under. Good step through. Wide base, up, under. Good. Footwork. One dribble up, under. Excellent, Walt. Okay, now, Mo, you're going to come now, and as you go to get to the middle to make your move, he's going to slide and beat you there. So now as you come, you're going to keep it in that hand, and you're going to reverse him and come this way. Drive him into the middle. One dribble, reverse him back. Turn. That's it. Good. Good. Drive him. Drive him. Good. Excellent. Finish it. Finish it. Drive him. Drive him. Change, Reese. Good. Good, Walt. Okay, now, you'll see it's the same thing. It's all, and you'll, you'll understand what we're doing when we get to our one-on-one -on -one game. It's all part of recognizing what the defense gives you. As you turn and you see you have a jump shot, you take it. If he abdicates and backs off, you go to your jump hook. If he beats you to the stuff spot, you reverse him. Stay above the arc, making sure that you have the right angle to the glass. Now, you're getting pushed out. So now you're going to pivot away from the defensive player. He's then going to come at you. Give him a jab, go around him. Pivot away. Good. Push him out. Give it away. Give it away. Get there. Get there. Get there. Same thing. No different than turning in the box drills and he crowds you. Same thing. We do it both sides. Both sides. Let's move it over, guys. Okay, now we're going to go strong jump hook. Let's do it perfect, pointing that shoulder. Then we're going jump shot. Then we're going up and under. Give me a violent head ball fake. Then we're going change, go middle, change. Then the inside pivot away. When we hit that pad, we are trying to get this foot breaking the arc. We're trying to get inside that arc. Get there. Good. Excellent. Get there, Reese. Get to the arc. Good. Get there, Walt. Get there, Walt. Over him. Good. OK, motor jump shot. Here we go. Shape up, shape up, shape up. Hard dribble. Get there. Jump shot. Good. Locate him first. Locate him. Locate the defense. Jump shot. Keep those legs straight. Keep those legs straight. Locate him. Jump shot. Push away. Good. Locate him, Walt. Jump shot. Good. Okay, Mo, give me a hard up and under now. Get to the middle. One dribble. Get to that middle. Show it, Mo. Show it. Get there. Left hand. Good. Get to the middle, Eric. Get to the middle. Show it. Show it. Rip through. Okay, now watch. Just make sure. Make sure when we rip this through and we take this and we show it, it's got to come underneath our chin when we step. It can't, the ball can't be brought down. So when we violently show it, 
It's under the chin. We come with our left hand. One dribble. Show it. Get there. Good. Show it. Get there, Walt. Good. Okay, Mo, Mo. Get to the middle. Change direction. Be above the block. On the inside of the block. One dribble. Get there. Get there, Mo. Change. Left hand. Good. Get there, Eric. Change. Good. Make sure we get him in. Drive toward the arc. Drive him toward the arc. Drive him. Change. Drive him, Walt, towards the arc. Drive him to the arc. Drive him. Change. Good, Walt. Okay, Mo. Pull away from him now, Mo. Locate him first. Push him out. Push him out. Locate him. Locate him. Get there. Good move, Mo. Very nice. Nice and low, Mo. I liked it. Get there. Get there. Don't let him push you out, guys. Don't let him push you out. You hold your ground. He'll, he'll get you out. Hold your ground. Get there. Get there. Low to the ground, Walt. Good. Get there. Get there. Good. Good move, Walt. OK. You'll notice nothing's changing about the low post. It's about recognizing how the defense plays us. If they don't get there in time, you shoot the jump shot. If he beats you to the spot, you're going to violently give him a ball fake, come underneath, get the foul, go up and under. If he's on you, playing good defense, you got to get to the tip of the arc, go to your jump hook. If he pushes you out, you're going to pull away, front face him, go body to body, making sure you don't travel. If he beats you to the spot, you're going to reverse him, drop step him, and put him in jail. Nothing changes with the low post. It's the same as the perimeter. Small or big, the moves stay the same. Body to body, putting the person in jail, recognizing what the defense gives you. Before you start, you have to have a routine that you're in the proper shape so you can maintain that level of excellence throughout your entire workout. And conditioning and weight training and flexibility training is very, very important. And uh, players who get ready to go to work, they've got to understand all three of those aspects. And, and you have to work out it, get with the right people who know what they're doing and understand how to basketball train, basketball weight, weight lift. Because it's different than in football or other sports. And you have to understand that because flexibility plays such a large role in that. With three-point shooting and with screen shooting, we work on our mid-range game, we take some threes. Now we specifically want to concentrate on the line. We got a little bit with three twos and ones, but now we want to make it realistic. We pass the ball into the post, and anytime you pass the ball into the post, you move. We start from the wing to the corner, other side wing to the corner, corner to wing, wing in to top, top to wing, up top, inside, both ways, as if you're coming off a fade. Then the ball fake. Now what we do when we get very active and we do it game speed, they have to make four in a row before we go to the next spot. Or if you're by yourself, if you're by yourself, obviously you're just going to throw it to the corner, load it, shoot it, go to the other side, do the same thing. Turn, load it, shoot it, do the same thing. Picking it up the correct way, load it, step and shoot it. And you're trying to make four in a row. After you shoot it, go to the other side of the floor, spin it out, shoot it. Rest after you make your four in a row, go to the foul line, tie it. You're drenched, you're exhausted, go to the foul line, take your deep breath, shoot it, try not to hit the rim. Go back to your next spot, do it. One on one the same way. Spin it, shoot it, spin it, shoot it. Repetition's key. Four. Or play a game. Plus four, minus four. Spin it out. Turn and shoot it. You make it, you're plus one. You make it, you're plus two. You miss it, subtract one. You're plus one. Go until you get minus four or plus four. Minus, go to the foul line, relax, go at it again. Could be plus three, minus three, plus two, minus two, depending on what level you're at. The key is repetition, correct technique. Now, after we've gone through three twos and ones, screen shooting, 
our dribble moves, our body-to-body -body moves. These guys are tired. We'll save this for the end of our shooting drill. We'll go for a minute or two. It's two basketballs, three shooters. They're going to pass and move. They got to get out to the three-point line. They got to rebound for each other, make good passes, and move. For now, we'll do it for one minute. Let's see how many we can make in a minute's time. Ready? Go. You're out, Eric. Shoot it. Pass it, Walt. Pass it. Step. Technique. Shoot it. Pass it. Get out there. Get out. Get out. Get out. Pass it, Reese. Good. Get out. Shoot it. Shoot it. Come on. Shoot it. Get there, Reese. We got four. Shoot it. Five. Keep moving. Keep moving. Good. Keep moving. Keep moving. Excellent. Keep shooting. Come on. Step and shoot. Step and shoot. Step and shoot. Good. Keep moving. Keep moving. Get it out. Step and shoot. Get ready. Get ready. Get loaded. Get loaded. Get loaded. Get ready. Come on. Get ready. Come on, Walt. Good. Be ready, Walt. Be ready with the hand. Step and shoot. Step and shoot. Come on. Step and shoot. Step and shoot. Be ready. Okay, stop. That was about a minute 15, minute 20. What I do is I say a minute, I go a minute 30, and I lie to the players. I tell them it's a minute, but it's really a minute 30. They never know the difference. Four years with Walt, he never knew it was a minute 30. But we want to do it for about a minute, rest, because now we're shooting while we're fatigued. That's the nature of this drill. We're trying to move on the run and shoot when we're tired. And we do it at the end. Because in the final five minutes of the game, we want to be the stronger person and the stronger team. And shooting the basketball under the influence of fatigue is not easy. We want to get our players conditioned to do that. Three players moving, two basketballs. We work a lot on the three-point shot because as we're warmed up, we make a living on this three-point line. Yes, without question, it's too short. The college line today is a joke. It's a joke. Could you imagine Pete Maravich averaging his 46, 48 points a game from this range if he ever played with that line? He would have averaged 70, 75 points a game. Yes, they didn't defend anyone back then, not like everyone does today with doubling, tripling, but can you just imagine what some of those guys would have, who played without that line would have averaged? This line, yes, has to be moved back. Right now, it's not even good for good spacing passing into the post. So we're going to work this line while we have it, and even when they move it back, we're going to work this line. It's big at every single level that you play at. I absolutely love one-on-one -on -one basketball. To me, if my players would tell me afterwards, all we did was play one-on-one -on -one the correct way. It's the best form of self-improvement out there. Five-on-five, five, players by themselves, it's like an all-star game. There's no defense, everybody's not filling their lanes, and the fundamentals are very weak. But one-on-one -on -one the right way is the best way to play basketball. Now, we do it a little bit different, and you need some people helping you out. But this is by far my favorite way to end the practice of individual instruction. As you notice, there's four guys here, and that's the perfect number. You can do it with three. There's two people with basketballs on the wings. Walt starts out in a closeout situation. He starts out right about where Conference USA is, Walt. He can break either way to get the basketball. You got to close out in your correct defensive stance when he catches the ball. Now, every single thing that we taught on this tape, recognizing what the defense gives you. If Reese is open, he'll shoot it, but he does not want to take a challenge jump shot. A challenge jump shot at every level, you will shoot below 32% in the course of a season. You will shoot better than 42% if you will take an unchallenged shot. So this is a recognition one-on-one -on -one game. You've got to recognize how you're open. If Walt runs at him and he's got a ball fake, he'll ball fake. 
If he's open, he'll shoot it. If he's being crowded, he'll rip through. Now, if you go to the rim and I call foul, and I'm going to need a whistle. I call foul. The next guy comes out, that counts. If I call foul, the next move you make is a post-up move. So if I score on a foul here, I go to this marker, and now I post up. So we post up on the foul. If you score, let's say Reese hits a jump shot. You're out, next guy's on, he goes to the other guy. You're working on your closing out defensively. You're closing out on the man. You get fouled, you post up. If you miss it, you get the rebound, you outlet it to one of the wings. Then you go chase it, and he's going to work on the closeout on you. And then you either shoot it, ball fake, or rip through. Everything we've worked on. We'll show you how the game works. Now, you don't, if you score five points in this game, you'll work it. Reese is by far the best at this on our basketball team. It's a tough game, but it incorporates every single thing we've worked on on this tape. Okay, we're ready to start. Play. Shot. He's wide open. Excellent. Pass it, Walt. Pass it. Now play. Now play. Good. Shot. Excellent. Go, Walt. Go, Walt. Play. Good. That's a challenge. Ready? The jab. Pass it, Reese. Pass it. Now play. Wall close out. Stance. Next spot. Come on, Reese. Next guy. There it is, Reese. Stop. Stop. Excellent shot. Great recognition. Tell me the problem, Reese. Nope. You were wide open. Think about it. What could possibly be wrong about a wide open shot? You were on the line. Recognize the behind that line. Okay, we'll start it out in the closeout. Eric. Ready? Go. Play. Jab, 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 Eric, jab. Get there. Get in that arc. Yes. Foul. Post up, Eric. Next guy. Post up. There it is. Post up again. Normal passer. Get there. Good reverse. Ready? Jump, jump hook. Next guy, Walt. Play. Wait. Shot. You got it, Walt. Now you get in the field. Pass it, Mo. Pass it. Play. Shot. Good, Mo. Pass it, Walt. Pass it, Walt. Ready? Close out. Jab. You get there, Walt. Foul. Foul. Post him up, Walt. Get to the tip. See what you got, Walt. Good turnaround, Walt. Pass it, Eric. Pass it. Close him out, Walt. Close him out. Good. Shot. Good recognition. That's good recognition. Pass it, Walt. Play. Good. Next guy, Walt. Break over here. Break over here, Walt. Close out. Ready? Play. Pass it, Reese. Play. Hold it. Hold it. Right there. Walt, how tired are you? That's only a minute of play, and Walt's tired. And he's in great shape. Because if you play one-on-one -on -one correctly, you should be getting tired about the minute mark. Because you've got to close out correctly on defense, and we haven't talked about that. You got to make sure you recognize when to shoot, when to ball fake, when to drive, when to post up. Okay, Walt, you started out at the top of the key. Reese, you started. Let's change positions. Um, Mo, you can play Walt, and then we'll go. Okay, now we're starting out. Break into either guy. Ready? Go. Get there, Walt. Play, play, pick it up. Ball fake. Get there. Get there. Get there. Next guy, Walt. Here he comes. Come on, Eric. Ball fake, ball fake. You're open. Next guy, Walt, keep coming. Okay, stop, good. Okay, we're giving you the score. Hold it. I want Coach O'Brien to kill me. Now wait. Reese is excellent at closing out correctly defensively. He closes out in a wide base. He's ready with his hands. He's ready to play defense. So it's a defensive drill as well as an offensive drill. Okay, Mo, you're up on him. Ready? Play. Ball fake. Get there. Get there. Foul. Post up, Walt. You got it, Walt. You got it. Post up. Post him up. Post him up. Stop. Okay, now. You'll notice as Walt posts up, post him up, Walt. Eric comes out. 
what Eric has to do, he's got to be really sharp waiting on deck. As Walt goes to post up and post me up, Walt, Eric's got to try to get around him and play defense. He's got to be quick coming. If he gets pinched and gets caught behind, Walt's going to play him. So as a smaller person, you've got to try to get around him. Start in a closeout position. Walt, let's give you a break. Reese, come on out. You're all right? OK, here we go. Play. Get there. Get there, Eric. Pass it. Pass it. Pass it. Play. Next guy. Play. Shot. Shot again. Good recognition. Ready. Mo's too slow. Get there. You got to rip through. You got to rip through. You're there. Good block. Play it. Play it, Eric. Post him. Post him. Good. That's a foul. Good. Good. That's good recognition, Mo. Yes. Next spot. Ready. Rip through, Mo. Get there. Good. Foul. Post up that next guy, Mo. Post him up. Jump hook. Stay with it. Stay with it. Break out. Break out. Come on, Walt. Locate him. Locate him. Get there. Get there. Good. Pass it, Walt. Pass it, Walt. Now play. You may have a shot. You have it. Next guy. Pass it, Mo. Pass it, Mo. Don't tire. Play. 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 Good. Pass it, Walt. Now play. Get there. Get there. Get there. Now play, Mo. Be ready. Be ready. Good. Good D, Walt. Pass it, Mo. Pass it again and break out. Play. Play. Jab, Mo. Jab. 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 Don't rest. Jab. Good. Next guy. Come on, Mo. Up top. Up top. Keep coming. Yours, Reese. Body to body, Reese. Go at him. Body to body. Get in the arc. Get in the arc. Oh, good move, Reese. Foul. Reese, plus up the next guy. Come on, Eric. Where are you? Get there. Change. Good. Next one. Come on, Walt. Ready? Shot. Good. Next guy. Where are you, Mo? Ready. Get there. Get there. Oh, good move, Reese. Next guy. Next guy. Good, good. Pass it, Eric. Close out, Reese. Close out, Reese. Get there. Shot. Pass it, Reese. Pass it. Jab, jab, jab. Oh, you got him, Reese. Excellent. Get there. Get there. Get fouled. Stop. Good job. Excellent. What that teaches you, you're obviously tired, and we've been going about six minutes. You're tired. You've got to close out properly. And you've got to recognize what the defense is giving you each time. Whether it's a dribble, body to body, the post up recognizing how the defense plays, whether it's the ball fake, whether it's the jab. The defense tells you what shot to take. The thing that we work on so diligently each day is not to shoot when the defender's challenging us. Conversely, we want to challenge every shot taken after the man leaves the ground. No shot goes unchallenged by any jump shooter or any inside player. So as we get into it, we work on the defensive closeouts just as hard as our ball fakes. The game stays the same, though, body to body. These guys did a fantastic job, and they've done it now. Walt's done it the longest. They do it over and over and over. It's a routine. It's a discipline. And discipline is an organized plan of attack. It starts with the moment you go through those doors, step over those lines, and you go through the warm-up. You go through it diligently. Focus the right way. Around the horn, doing it the right way. Jump shots, screen shooting, the ball handling body to body, the three twos and ones, the post pass, and then the move and the step, plus four, minus four, the box drills. Everything is done correctly and you're creating great habits. You're not repeating a poor habit and doing it the incorrect way. The workout will last you by yourself anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour. When I hear young players tell me each day that they've played four hours of basketball, sure, they were out there, and they were playing four hours. But they probably were not getting up enough shots, enough moves, and working on the correct things. They were just out there playing, and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to reach your potential, you have to be organized. You have to do things the correct way and then repeat it over and over and over. So you become great at ball faking, great at shooting, great at your pivot moves, great on defense, moving your feet and trying to stay into a challenge shot situation. We repeat those things whether you're seven feet, or whether you're 5'7". It doesn't matter to us. 
All our guys are going to shoot the ball. All our guys are going to put it on the floor. All our guys are going to create and work together. One-on-one -on -one offensive self-improvement. It's the key to reaching your potential. <laughs> you were good. Yeah. Well, thank you. That was great. That was great. You're in good shape. That's a good drill, isn't it? One -on -one? Yeah, that's a great drill. Well, a strong work ethic is, is key, and that's where this offensive improvement tape uh, comes into play. You have to be able to have the discipline each day to work on the right routine, the right fundamentals, and create the proper habits. Because sometimes you can work on things that are detrimental to your basketball game. So it's, it's understanding the right things to work on and then trying to perfect those.